Ah, yes, now that says it all. <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's show them how it's done. Watch me. Oh, ah, this is my defense. Yeah. Mr. Walter Bobby. Yeah. Stories at the Between the Lions website, pbskids.org, or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. And they lived happily ever after. Read to a child once a day, and she'll learn happily ever after. Be a designated reader. Happily ever after. Very good, Leona. Between the Lions is funded in part by a ready-to-learn, no-child-left-behind grant from the U.S. Department of Education through the Public Broadcasting Service and by the Barksdale Reading Institute. Bright Horizons. We provide working families with child care and early education. At Bright Horizons, we believe every child is full of potential, ready to grow and ready to learn. Why are cows everywhere such strong supporters of Chick-fil-A? Perhaps it's because Chick-fil-A supports quality family programming here on PBS. likes puppies. Everybody likes puppies. I'll bet it makes you sad when you have to leave them home, huh? And there are probably times when he makes you feel a little mad. You must really like puppies. You're always smiling. Who? Her? She always smiles. She's just a fixture. to the videotape. Ouch! That hurt! Sorry, I just wanted to get your attention. Well, what about? Uh, I forgot. Log on to WYS.org to find out more about your favorite PBS kids show. Tell us about the big one, old timer. Well, I just threw it in my line when I felt the yank, and I took off like a speedboat. I knew I'd hooked me a hyperbole. Hyperbole? Yep, this wasn't any ordinary overstatement or average exaggeration. This was a huge hyperbole. How big was it? It was so huge, they'd have to serve it up in one of those newfangled satellite dishes. Its skeleton when it made that Tyrannosaurus up at the museum look like a little old lizard. Whatever became of that hyperbole? Well, sir, that was the one that got away. Hey, Alyssa, what's your favorite color? PBS Kids Rock, here on WYS TV New Orleans. <laughs> 